Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. So, we just finished Agrabah. Let's go on to this world, because this is the next one. I could go up here, but it's way harder, and it's it's just better this way, trust me. It doesn't matter anyway, because of something that will happen. Now, I really could have gone back to Traverse Town and, like, upgraded the Gumi ship and done a lot. Actually, I really should upgrade the Gumi ship. Like, we really need to upgrade it. It really needs an upgrade. But, it's much better if I just wait a tiny little bit to upgrade the Gumi ship. Why? Well, we get something very soon. Oh, right, the warp. Uh, we'll just avoid the warp. Because we don't need it. The warp would take us back to deep forest, I think. So we just avoid the warp. We don't need it. Okay, cool. We're past it. Are those heartless or what the hell is that up here? Are oh, there like mini asteroids? Man, I don't remember most of these heartless or whatever. Or Gumi heartless. Are these heartless? Like, officially? Are they? Who knows? Oh, they're carbuncles. These are blueprints, by the way. Um, we can technically ride in those if we wanted. I mean, I, I don't see a purpose in it. But it's fine. It's fine. Why is the thing not happening that's supposed to happen? It's actually worrying me slightly. Because <laughs> I'm like, did I have to go back to Traverse Town? Oh, we, uh, we need to be a little bit more careful. Ow. Okay, I think it's about to happen. Oh, we need to get to that new world. Did it? Did it? Did, did it not happen? What? 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 <laughs> I... Okay. I played this game a lot as a kid. I have never... And I mean never, ever seen this happen. Oh, well, I, wow, that, those, those things are one hit kills. You know what? That's fine because I feel like, I feel like I must have missed something. Like what the hell is going on? All right. We'll just try to get through this as quick as possible. I feel like I'm going insane. Like, I'm not crazy. This is a thing. Oh, we got through that a lot quicker this time. Oh, that's not gonna break. Let's move past this warp. I'm not... I'm not insane. Hey. This section is supposed to happen now. All of you who have played this game before know what I'm talking about. And maybe it's just too early. Maybe this is a very, very long Gumi ride. But I could have sworn. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the upper world for it to happen? I've always done that before, but... Actually, have I? I don't remember. No, I've... No, I've, I've always gone this way first. 100%. I'm pretty sure I know what the world is down here. I'm trying not to look at walkthroughs too much. I have used them from time to time. Don't get me wrong, but like... Part of the charm of this game is doing it yourself. Alright. Is it going to happen here? Or not? Okay, apparently not. Apparently it's just going to load. Maybe, maybe it is further along. I, I legitimately don't know. 
I really need to put another gun on this goddamn Gumi ship. But after the next uh, area, I will have a lot more leeway in actually making Gumi ships and making something really nice. So I'm not too, too worried about not having like an amazing Gumi ship right now. And still using the base one. Actually, I think I always upgraded it before now, but it's fine. I just haven't taken the time for it. I really should. Oh, God. Just blow through the center. Don't even bother with the rest. I do remember those guys have great, like, schematics. Now, does it happen? Oh, yep. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, what is that? There's a thing. It is huge. It's, it's really big. Oh, oh god. Oh, this is terrifying. No, just move. I can't move. Oh, no. Well. Oh, okay. I just... It's a giant whale. In... In Gumi space. It's monstro. It's a whale of a whale, and vicious besides. Um, maybe we should move. Yeah, Sora. Sora, Sora, move, move, move the ship. Sora, move the ship. Sora. Sora, move, move the goddamn ship. Move the goddamn ship! What do you mean it's too late? You had so much time! Well, we get swallowed by Monstro. Oh, flashback. What? And where? Oh, in the secret area? I don't remember this cutscene. Is this something that they added later? It might be. Apparently there was a monster in there. The door. <laughs> Rick really doesn't care about this place at all. I feel like there was supposed to be voice acting, but there isn't. Their eyes freak me out. They have, like, three rings for eyes. And they're really just way too big. New girl at the mayor's house. So the mayor had a girl, had a daughter or something? I don't entirely know the people, like... Hey, Sora, are you okay? What are you guys doing? Where are we anyway? Yeah, where are we? Whoa. Oh, you know, I think that big old whale monstro just swallowed us. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't open his mouth or else weather, we'll just showers. fall into a endless void. Heavy showers. Those are items hey. too. Who's there? It's me. Just what? How did you get here? Pinocchio? Pinocchio? Where are you going? Pinocchio! Come on, everybody. After him. Quick! Welcome to Monstro. Technically a world? Sort of? It's interesting. It's like a mini world. Also, none of those items that he dropped down. We, can, we can't have any of them. Uh, I don't remember all of Monstro. I remember there's a ton of stuff here though and we are not going to be able to get all of it either in fact oh i'm pretty sure i'm just oh cutscene what have you got there pinocchio with this we can get out of here father really with this big block you think so it's true 
So, how did she end up here, Pinocchio? Yeah, how? Oh my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness. Yeah, looks like it. My name is Geppetto. I'm Pinocchio's father. When we got separated, I traveled all over looking for him. Thank goodness we're together again. <gasps> so, you seem to know Pinocchio quite well. I hope he was a good boy in my absence. Well, we've all had quite a journey, right, Pinocchio? Pinocchio! Well, he went after Riku. Why would Riku be here? That's just strange. Alright, we're gonna quickly save. I believe we're safe in this area, in the mouth area, but as we go further in, we of course won't be. Yeah, he's a very naughty boy. Probably the most the naughty boy. I mean, let's be honest, his nose is a penis. Just keeps growing and growing in size. Does this actually lead me anywhere? Oh, I think I can get up there if I had high jump. Can I go over here? Well, I can get up here. I can't get up there. There's a couple of items, though, that I wanted. And there's a way to get to most of them. Just gotta be not terrible at jumping, like I am. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it... Stop! It's them. D don't get on. Okay, good. So I believe... Oh, no, you can't do that. Huh. Can I not get any of this stuff until I have glide? I don't believe that. Although, it seems like high jump is sort of necessary. Oh, okay, well, that worked. That trick worked again. We got a Scangy. Don't think I can get up there. It gets us up here. We can't get up there yet. Hmm. Though I do believe there's a way to come out from the top there. So I think that's the way we have to proceed. And in general, we have to follow after Pinocchio anyway. So off we go. Uh. What are you doing? Come on, let's go back. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Dun dun dun. Too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade. Riku. What are you doing here? Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kyrie? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Oh, come on! Oh. Oh, so this is happening, is it? And now Heartless are here. This is very worrying. Wow, they drop a lot of health. Did he just disappear? I don't remember what these Ghost Heartless actually do. They're not too hard, but I guess they just disappear and they drop a ton of health and MP. And then they flail around. I don't remember Monstro being a particularly hard area, but I, I could be wrong. I know it's a maze in here. Like, that's an area. That's an actual exit. I know we're supposed to go that way, but there's a chamber two here, and this leads to where? Chamber three. Well, let's go in order. Okay. Oh, wow. I can kill them in one uh thing now. Really? I'm super appreciating the uh, arrows, Donald. 100%. Loving it. Oh, blocked off here. Oh, a large body. 
Ow. Well, that's gonna be nice. Oh, a spirit shard. And a chest. I opened it right before a fight. That's kind of amazing. It doesn't usually work out that nicely. Wow, our new Keyblade does tons of damage. I'm really glad I switched it out. So, can we move this? Can we lift it? No. There's a way to get up there. I just don't remember how. We can't... We can't move or lift this. This leads to Chamber 3. Maybe there's a way up here from Chamber 3? I don't remember. Oh, right. Oh, uh, just a ton of enemies. This leads back to Chamber 2, but a different part of Chamber 2. This is a maze, like, in its entirety. I think we do want to be here. Nope, don't want to go to Chamber 5. Not yet. If we want all the items, we gotta do this right. Okay. So maybe if I just... Oh, thank God. And then... See ya. Yeah, I think I have to do that, and then... Hey, hey, hey! Oh, thank God. I'm sorry for the stupid noises, but like... <laughs> I have to. Um, okay. We're done in this chamber. Chamber two has nothing left in this for us. Chamber three has a ton of enemies. Oh, bright gem. I stunned the ghost. Okay. So there's a area down there. There's stuff up there. I don't know if any of this will help us right now. I could get up there with a barrel, I think? If I drop a barrel down there, I believe. Let's see. I'm just gonna drop it. Did it break? I didn't. Good. Okay. We can head down here. I know there's a lot of enemies, but I believe... I can get a ton of stuff doing that this way. This is chamber one. I do believe we need to get to chamber five eventually. Ooh, that hurt. I was angry. Now just don't let him hit the barrel, and we're all good. That worked out well. Man, if that finisher had activated and hit the barrel, I would have been real angry. Man, we do a ton of his health. Alright, are we all good? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I think I can skip ahead a couple areas by doing this right here. Now, if I drop this right here... Yep, thought so. We also need that barrel. Please don't hit that barrel. Now, follow me over here. Actually... No, don't go next to the barrel. Thank you. You can hit me all you want. Just... You know what? I know I can get up here. 
in other ways, but... Okay. Here we go. Got Osmos G, which I think is actually a really decent thing. And up here, and fantastic. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I think this leads out to chamber six. We don't want to go there yet. And there's an item over there, too. Okay, so what I want to do is go ahead and lift this again. We're just going to drop it. Again, never use the throw command because you will break the barrel. And we want to get up in here. And perfect. I do remember this whole area is just barrel, 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 barrel. If you had glide, you could get over there, but I don't remember where you get glide. I'm pretty sure it's... I know where you get glide. <laughs> I just remembered. Okay. I think, yeah, we got everything in this area, so we can continue to five. We haven't been to chamber four yet, however. Ow. Oh wow, I think I stunned him. How did you activate with so much health left? I don't... Oh, why did it... Another large... Oh, because there was a cure person. Hey, you. We can't break those boxes, can we? Oh, I think that this Keyblade is doing so much damage because it's, like, breaking their, uh, through their defense. Because it makes sense. It said uh, can get through some things that are blocked or something like that. I can't remember the exact wording. Wow, they drop a lot of health. All right. Uh, okay, we can't actually do anything in here, so I'm just going to move on. Chamber 6. Wow, that was really effective, actually. Okay. Hold down here. Bunch of these guys. I will say, the thing about Monstro, it's just a maze. Like, it's not much of anything else. It's not even quite like... How... Where does this go? Chamber 5. And if we continue up here, a lot of these enemies are... Hiding. I just broke a barrel, but I think it's not one that I needed. Oh. Those things like to explode, by the way. That's why they're hurting. Well, you're a bad guy. Don't don't break that barrel. Is there anything down there that I want? Nope. No, there is not. However, there is something up there that I wanted. I don't suppose that we can do this. Can I... Oh, thank God. One barrel survived. I only need one. But I needed one to survive. And I believe this will even get a, let us get up to a higher area somewhere else, possibly. No, get off of the barrel. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, maybe I should have gone to Traverse Town first. We would have gotten something very nice. Another torn page. Well, reason not to go to Traverse Town right there. Because, hey, we're going to have to go back there anyway for something for the torn pages, so. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, you can get that. You can 100% get that. I refuse. Oops. Hold on. You can get this. Also, I can get in there. I don't know where that goes. Damn it. Can 
we really not get there? One last time. If I don't make it, I don't make it. <laughs> One last actual try. I guess we need glide for that. Or like, long jump and glide? How the fuck? It's, it's confusing me. So we can go into there. I don't know if that's where we want to go. Where would this... What? What? More heartless just appear randomly. Cool. Chamber 5. Do we want to go into Chamber 5? Where would this take us? Back to Chamber 6. Well, I can always come back. Oh. What? It's... It's a portal that leads to itself? <laughs> what? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Mind boggled. Chamber 5, where does this lead us? Oh, there's a lot of barrels here. I legitimately don't know where I am, but I don't think that I want to fall. Oh, I, I know what's going on. Okay. Oh, don't, don't make me fall. Oh my god. That was my fault. I should have acted a little quicker. The thing is, you can't open chests in the middle of a fight. But I don't think you can actually get back up here. No, not normally, at least. Wait, what? Thank you, Donald, for being so... These weren't... They didn't come to life before. Oh my god. Literally none of them came to life before. I touched them, and they didn't come to life. But if they're... Are they heartless? What are... I think I just knocked all of them off. <gasps> Fucking... Oh. There's items here? Did I just blow up the barrel? Well, now I can't get back up there. Well, at least I got items. Now the real question is... How far will this put me, though? Is it back to chamber 6? Yeah, it is 6. So many enemies here. God, that stun thing is great, but it does so little damage. It doesn't even do enough to finish off a Heartless. Also, apparently, normal Heartless, these shadows, can't be uh, stunned when they're underground. The other thing that really annoys me about this area, the super peppy battle music. Like, I'm not happy about fighting these many enemies. Alright, let's just open these up. Thunder Gaji, alright. Mega Ether. Okay, cool. Well, where does this let us out? Where the... Oh my god, all the way at the bottom. You know what? Not gonna deal with this. Back into chamber five. All these enemies should be dealt with. Now, 
We've been on that side of Chamber 5. We don't want to continue that side of Chamber 5. No. Fuck me for, you know, wanting to... Oh, wow, you can attack from there, huh? Just, you know. Because, fuck you. Because, fuck you. Goofy, do you want to kill them? Please? I have to barrel in the perfect place. Although, if I fall, I get none of that stuff. Where does this lead? Chamber 4. Which we haven't been to yet. I don't think so. Thankfully, I think we can get to Chamber 5 and hear back like, like nothing now. Nope, don't walk onto the barrel. Are you just... Are you going to die fighting... You're going to die fighting the one heartless. Goofy. It's one heartless. Please. Goofy. Goofy died fighting the one heartless. Goofy did zero damage fighting the one heartless. I just... I just... Oh, these guys are just here to knock you off. Well, you know what? You get knocked off. Because fuck you. As long as I don't get knocked off, I'll be fine. Oh, whoa, you respawned. There we go. Okay. And I don't think we need to send this flying out either. Please don't. Good. Okay. Good. I'm so angry. Chamber three and chamber six. God damn it. We got everything from Chamber 3. I'm almost positive. Oh, there's no way for me to be positive of that. There's no guarantee I can... Re well... If I go to Chamber 6, I can technically return here, so... Yeah, this is a better bet. Oh, damn it. Where does this lead me? Where am I? Oh my god, it drops you here? Not the right place to go. Alright. Chamber three or <sighs> now I have to go all the way back. Thankfully, I, th I believe I remember the way. Now go into chamber three and then we go into chamber two. And then from here we go into chamber five. And then from chamber five, we go into chamber six. And then from chamber six, we go up into chamber five, where everything has respawned. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that barrel has exploded anyway, so I'm just going to go into chamber four. Which is the place you need to go. Why do you still care about that boy? He has all but deserted you for the Keyblade and his new companions, after all. I don't care about him. I was just messing with him a little. Oh, really? Of course you were. Beware the darkness in your heart. The heartless prey upon you. Mind your own business. Riku! What's
What's the matter with you? What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, Sora. You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Do you even want to save Kyrie? I do. Uh-oh. Well, they give you a save point, so immediately save. Because, yes, we're about to face a boss. Um... There is a couple, there are a couple of chests that I've missed, but I don't think I can get a lot of them until I get high jump. High jump makes this entire area, like, trivial, by the way. Like, really trivial. Oh, and here's the boss. I don't remember at all how to fight him. It reminds me a lot of an enemy from Final Fantasy IX, actually. You up for this? No problem. Let's do it. But Riku, Riku fights with us here. Isn't that interesting? So the body, you can't hurt. Do you believe you can fire the top? No, no you can't. Uh, how do you do this? Oh, you just have to attack the front. You can't attack the back. Ow. By the way, the boss hurts. But Riku does a fair amount of... Uh, oh, wow. Okay, we healed... Both healed me. Huh? Riku does a... A little bit. He doesn't actually damage... The boss that much, though. By the way, if Donald goes down, you're not going to have healing, so just back off and heal if you need to. And I don't think Riku can actually be downed. Now, let's not die. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I don't want to chance the fact that I'll get hit. Oh. Because he definitely can do a lot of my health. There we go. This one has been defeated. But it's not over quite yet. Just like in Final Fantasy IX, this thing grabs onto the ceiling and moves on. Also, Goofy apparently learned cheer. I don't know why that was required to tell us. And just like last time, you can't go back to the save point. You have to jump into the thing. It's honestly a weird design choice to have them do this to you twice. I never quite understood it, but... Whatever. Oh, right! It drains the water! I forgot about that. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please, give me back my son! Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. What? He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy. He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure. But maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kyrie? What do you care about her? Oh. Harsh words. So, we get a chest. <gasps> I need it! You need high jump? Absolutely. High jump. Is necessary. What does cheer do? Summons MP gauge, giving them more time. And oh, yeah, that's useless for me. I don't like summons until one very later on. So yeah. 
I don't know either, but you probably mope to us a lot. So high jump is kind of amazing. Whee! Oh, it's so good. <gasps> I missed you. We could do so much. Also a good idea to save that before you go to Traverse Town and so that you can get all the high jump shit that you couldn't get before. Anyways, with high jump, we can do stuff like... We can do stuff like... Can we not grab onto the roof? What the, what the fuck? You can get onto the roof. Sora, please. What? How do you get onto the goddamn roof? Th there's a green trinity up there, which is why I'm trying to get onto the roof. But, but. There we go. Can, can, can there we go. <sighs> so hard to activate. Um. What? <laughs> I forgot that it's this like weird tower of people. And we get this chest, which I think is, oh, it's just mythical shards. I thought it might've been more Dalmatians, but apparently not. So with high jump, we can get all over this area. It is required for this part. I, at least I remembered that bit, right? Is there anything up there? There is something up there. Um, maybe we can't get to that right now. Do we need glide for that one? I know. I also know that there's a Trinity in Monstro that we absolutely cannot do yet. There's a blue one there. Oh, I see what we have to do. We just have to go from the other side. Well, that's okay. Yeah, there's a blue Trinity here. Some money, potion, and something else. Cottage, and another potion. Not bad. Saves me the trouble of having to buy them. And from here, we're gonna jump up and up. I believe we can get up to this chest, finally. Thankfully, it doesn't look like there's any enemies here. Water Gleam. Oh, is that what I think it is? A gem emanating water. Also a good reason to save this before Traverse Town. Again, like, we're going to get a ton of stuff that we're going to be able to take back. Hold on. The, what? How do we get over to that side? Oh, God. Now the problem with high jump is that it's really unwieldy. Do I just... <laughs> oh, okay, that's how. Fantastic. Got a cottage. And now, all we need to do is get up there. Which I believe we do from over here. Whoops. Well, we could do from over here. But I didn't mess up the jump. There we go. Aha! Dalmatians. And I believe that is literally everything that we needed to get. And from here, we just move on. Now, there are a couple of things in the main area that I missed. Um, I don't really feel like going back for them right now, but... Oh! These guys! Wow! Uh, okay. I can try. So these guys jump all over the place. They're Mushroom Heartless. They want you to juggle them. Damn it. And to juggle them, you just have to hit them. Damn it. They're really hard, and I'm really terrible with them. I'm kind of glad that they spawned in here and not something else. Because you could have some annoying spawns in areas like this. And we go into the stomach. I believe we get a boss fight. Hey, let Pinocchio go, Riku. A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kyrie. No. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. 
We can do it together. <gasps> what? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Damn. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side. Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Jiminy. I'm not gonna make it. No. Oh, so sad. Oh. Oh. I guess I'm okay. <laughs> Fucking Pinocchio. Just absolutely wrecks me sometimes. Huh? And down it comes. So we don't get to fight Riku yet. Instead, we have to fight this thing again. And believe you me, it is just as dangerous as it was the first time. However, we have high jump. Also, I'm an idiot. There we go. Oh, that was cast just in time. Ow. Oh, get out of the poison. So you can hit this thing while it's down. It's true heart. Oh, what? Oh, I cast wind on myself twice? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that was super lucky. Well, you hit it. It's insides a little. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Oh, we really need arrow. Or at least a heal. Thankfully, you can hit this thing a ton. We need that MP guard thing that, uh... What? Did it just one-shot me? What? 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 <sighs> hey, look. Regular Heartless spawn this time. And of course, the continue point isn't at the boss fight. No, no, no. Because fuck you. Right? The continue point... I don't know if I got the defense off in time. All I know is I got this thing down to green health. Thank you for the extra heal, but Donald, please. Oh my god. Are they both down? I feel like I'm doing so much worse this time. Ow. What the? Why didn't you heal? I pressed the button. I pressed the button. I'm just gonna skip ahead to when I kill it. Because, you know, fuck me, right? In that last fight. Bullshit. So much bullshit. There we go. Oh, and we got Leaf Bracer. Oh, which is such a fucking good ability. It gives us arrow when we get low on health, and it's just fantastic. Although it doesn't really help that as much in this setting, I guess. Because, or on this hardness or difficulty. That's the word that I'm looking for. But anyways, we got the power of time. We learn stop, which is necessary for a couple of things, by the way. One very, very difficult thing later on, even. So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was 
taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell but they control the heartless. There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Hmm. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. The very things that took her heart. How Riku doesn't understand that, I don't know. Soon, Kari. Soon. Soon. Oh yeah, we're inside Monstro. But not for long. So many trophies. We get spit out. Now, there was some stuff in Monstro that I didn't go back and get and to get. Um, we can get it later. You can get back to Monstro. It's just a 50-50 chance every time you travel between two worlds. So, yeah. Yeah, I hope they're okay, too. And they landed safely somewhere. Somewhere. And it puts us back at Agrabah. So, we're going to select a world. My magic is as good as Donald's now. What? Not in a million years. Why don't you go see Merlin? Yeah. It's a good idea. Also, there's a tournament out at the Coliseum. <laughs> I'm going to cry. It's a really, really tough one, but we're going to do it. Oh, cool. You can warp the Monstro now. I don't know if you've ever been able to do that before. Huh. I I legitimately don't actually know if you've ever been able to warp to Monstro. But in any case, we're going to go back to Traverse Town. I'm going to go over the things, the new things in Traverse Town. Um, because a lot's going to happen right now. This is also the point where I'm going to make a new Gumi ship because we desperately need it after this. Um... So, let's just go straight to the first district, right, right into the beginning of town. we got a lot of things to do here. Okay. So, first things first, we do have high jump. We can get a couple, of, I think, all of the rest of the postcards. If I can remember where they are. <laughs> first things first, though. At the accessory shop, we need to do the Trinity. It's long been awaiting. And this unlocks something very, very special. I'm going to go ahead and save just because I can. And I think I'm going to take the rest of this episode to just do the Traverse Town stuff. So if you don't really want to watch this, you don't have to. Um, but up here is the synthesis shop. Which we haven't had a chance to look at yet. Some Mithril Shards. More Dalmatians, which we're just hiding out here. Guys, you could have let them out yourselves, but whatever. First, you have to listen to his explanation. You too? Okay, cool. You can use your items to make new unusual items. Let us make something for you. We're going to use a bunch of items for travels. Cool. Sounds good. Make the ultimate weapon. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to be tough. All right, so it's synthesis. What can we actually make right now? We can make an energy bangle. I don't know how good that is. We can make a power chain, which is actually fairly good. Wow, this is all that's available right now? All right, well, we can make mega potions, which is really, really nice, actually. From spirit shards, power shards, mithril shards. We got a lot of those. Um, spirit shards and bright shards, power shards, lizard shards, magic armor, XP earring. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Nothing we want quite yet. These two are decent, but I don't think it's worth it for me to get them right now. Mega, mega potions might be amazing. The more you synthesize, the more unlocks. Um, so that's how that works. And we can always go back to the item workshop. Sid is also here, so that's nice. Um, I gotta remember the areas where high jump is used. There's also this, which wasn't here before. Geppetto's house. 
See why we went to Monstro? Hey, it's us, yeah! Hello! How the fuck did you get here? Man named Leon help us. Aw, oh, well that's nice. I don't know, like pay him? Yep, we're fighting the Heartless. And it gave us... Geppetto? What? So... Geppetto's weird. Oh. There's a Keyblade here? Strength goes down, has a short reach, but always finishes up a combo attack with a powerful critical blow. Oh, so it always crits at the end of a combo. Uh, honestly, I like Three Wishes more, because you don't get banged away as easily. Also, Geppetto will give you... So, what he gave us was a blueprint for a Gumi ship. And he will give us more and more uh, with the more Heartless that we actually defeat. So, let's see how many we can get from him. Probably not too many. We can get the Cactar. Can we get one more? Ah, okay. No more. It's like... A hundred, a thousand, and then ten thousand. It exponentially grows. You can get more blueprints from them. Now, none of them are that amazing, but it's a nice thing to, you know, grab while we're here. What else can we do? We can visit the Dalmatians, and we can also visit Merlin. I think that's all we can do right now. I don't remember where the rest of the postcards are. Please, no heart. Oh, my God. Go away, just go away. I don't care about any of you. I don't want to. Um so we have the green trinity. Or is this a green over here or a yellow? Because I don't remember. By the way, high jump makes that way easier. Is there a green trinity here or was it a yellow? It was a yellow trinity. Still can't get over there, you need glide. Not gonna happen anytime soon. Unless can you put the barrels in the water? Oh, you can't even lift those barrels. They are fake barrels. Cool. <laughs> They're just uh, for show, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we need to talk to both of you because we have things. Actually, we can skip talking to grandmother for a little bit. We are making excellent progress. And he gives us the spell binder. To the cavern. Oh, he takes us to the cavern. Uh, interesting. We might actually go there in a second. So the Spellbinder lowers our strength even more, but raises our max MP by two and enhances our magic. I don't like this key bay, key blade, like at all. I don't think I've ever used it in any of my uh, playthroughs. I'm not a big magic fan, as you know from like anything I've played. It's just not worth it for me, personally. I like the three wishes for now. It's it's powerful, and the the fact that you can't be deflected as often is nice. Cause like, the animation of Sora getting deflected is the worst thing in the world. You'll get hit so many times. I feel like I'm hitting way harder with this. The wishing star is fantastic, by the way. Um, if you want me to use it, let me know. I don't often use it, but the fact that it crits every time on the uh end of a combo is pretty nice anyways we have two torn pages so we can actually do two things here so I'm, go I'm gonna go ahead and do these I know it's gonna make this episode a little long but um that's okay hold on we've looked at that haven't we what have we done I don't remember which one uh, where do we go first do we go to Eeyore or do we go up to the house or does it not matter? It might not actually matter. Never mind. Just go over here. Wait, or is the meadow have we already done the meadow? Okay, there's nothing here. Never mind. We've already done this meadow. For some reason I thought Eeyore might be there. I do remember the next thing we do is go to Eeyore. Ah, tall, curious tree with a lot of bees. Yeah, let's go take a look. Sure. That is a, it's a very, very big tree, actually. You don't, you don't want me to get up there, do you? Is anyone there? <gasps> it's Big 
Piglet! He's so much smaller than I think he should be. What am I to do? I'm all alone. Oh, you're such a fraidy cat. Pooh. I guess you're a pig. Pooh. Where are you? It's me, Piglet. I want to point out that this world hasn't been screwed up by Heartless. They're just this useless. <sighs> Yeah, I'd be afraid of Sora, too. Okay. Oh, let's check out this area. Is there anything in the log? Nope. No, there is not. So if you notice, he went one way. Oh, there's like a swimming area. Totally forgot about that. I don't know if there's anything in there. He went one way. And he's looking for us in that direction. So you just walk up behind him. Oh, oh dear. I was just, just, never mind. I'm sorry. Just speak, Sora. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. Ah. Oh, you see, I have something for him. You do? I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, well, here he is. Oh, Pooh. God, they're so slow and lumbering. I forgot about this. This is going to pull this episode way longer than I thought it oh, would. I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. There is honey here. Pooh. Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. Did you now? Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Well, it's a balloon. Really? But, 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 but how? Oh, I forgot about this game. I shall hold on Fuck. And fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? What if you take their honey... Won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. I I think this might be easier without high jump actually. Yeah, because you can't lock onto these. High jump might be bad. I may have to disable that. Sure. Let's try. I forgot about this stupid mini game. Yeah, splendid idea. Tell us how the mini game works. I'm going to hate this. I'm going to really hate this. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. These will come out. Lock onto the bees and swat them away. The rush command? I don't... Oh, right! That was so useless before because it was stuck to... God. Here's the problem. What does... Fucking mini game. <sighs> Rush was super reliable there. Wait, he got nine. Oh, time just counts down and he comes back up again. I forgot about this. Does it go in order? 
Like, is it gonna be them now? And is it gonna be them next, or the ones above them? I need to rush. But no, no, no. I, I, we got twenty so far. Dang it! Oh boy. You see what I what I mean by the this this mini game? I don't I don't like it. It does, like, automatically put you to some branches, but sometimes it just sort of... What? What? That one didn't even... Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, what? So... I was locked on! I was legitimately locked on! I honestly think high jump might be messing me up here. But it's just like... Yeah, maybe high jump messes you up too much here. It's it's sort of like... The game... Cool. I don't remember how much honey you need to get. I think it's like 50 or so. I'm doing very poorly. Don't get me wrong. Also, I think if he gets up to the top... You can just continuously get honey because you will have swatted all of the bees away. Don't quote me on that. But, however, Sora not swatting at the bees is, um, quite alarming me, actually. <sighs> and he's gonna pop. Sometimes I want high jump. Sometimes I don't. Let's see what we got. Did we get anything? Oh, that was yummy in my tummy. But there is room for a bit more. I'm sure there is, you fat fuck. Turned into a new item. Nature spark. Oh, so we actually did get the item for that bit. Um, so that's nice. And then we should have one more area. Available. Is it this? I think so. Alright, so next time we'll go through that area. We'll continue through here. And I guess we'll do a Coliseum area. Uh, the, the Coliseum. That's gonna be fun. Uh, anyways. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.